Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to convert the Sabrent external drive we formatted in the previous drive into a boot disk. And to do that, what we do is first of all, go over to the Apple icon and select the information about it. What we're looking for is what version of Mac OS are we running? We're running 14.2.1. We need to know this because we can only download the OS if it's a more recent version. So then we go over to Safari and we type in download Mac OS. And uh, when we click on the first one, scroll down to Sonoma, which is what we have, 14. And let's see whether we have a more recent version. Well, it looks like we do. So when we click on that, it checks for updates and says, ah, we do have a newer one. You click download and the download process begins. The download will take a little time. It says here, I think it's about 20 minutes to make that happen. And once that download is done, then we need to go ahead and run the downloaded file. So let's give it a second here. Once we click that icon, the install application opens up. After you've read the agreement, if you like it, click Agree. Now you'll see the internal drive pop up. We don't want to use that. We want to show other drives. And there we see the Sabrent external drive. So select that and click Enter. The first thing it'll ask you is that you need to select a user for the new drive. I'm going to choose the existing user on the main drive. So I select that. And then I've got to enter my login and my ID so that it can configure the Sabrent with the appropriate user and password. Once that's done, the install of the Mac OS Sonoma begins. Now it says here it takes 58 minutes. And so we'll try and speed this up a little bit here and then come right back. Once it's completed, we need to know whether it actually worked. So we go over to that little Apple icon on the top left, and we select General, and then scroll down to the bottom to the startup disk. The highlighted file here, the one that shows the internal drive, is what we've booted off. If we want to boot off the Sabrent, we select the Sabrent, and then type Restart. And it'll ask you for your logon credentials and boot you right up. And to switch back, you do the opposite. And that's how you create an external boot drive for a MacBook Air. Thanks for watching.